welcome back folks it's me matt thanks for joining me i would love to hear in the comment section below what you think is the most shocking vehicle in modern capabilities you've ever seen what is something that really blew your mind away in the features or capabilities that it has because today this vehicle has done so for me the patria nemo it is a vehicle that is somewhat totally blind to me until recently that someone asked me to do a video on it and here we are we are looking at the autonomous firing on the move mortar system this is incredible i'm blown away that i did not know about this sooner but today we are discussing the nemo so this vehicle was unveiled to the public in 2006 uh, and is in service with quite a number of countries already it can be very easily installed on a multitude of different light or track chassis as well as wheeled armored fighting vehicles and as you can see predominantly in this footage today we are looking at the wheel variants but interestingly enough the platform can also be utilized on naval craft and also shipping containers which we'll talk a little bit more on later so the nemo or n-e-m-o no not the cute little fish from disney uh, is derived from the new mortar combined into nemo it is a single barreled 120 millimeter which is a beefy mortar by the way which can do some real damage uh, is a remote controlled mortar turret system currently being developed by patria land oi in finland now patria nemo mortar systems weigh around about 1900 kilograms depending on the platform with a 360 degree traverse and weapon elevation from minus three up to 85 degrees. Depending on the platform again, the vehicle equipped with the Patria Nemo can stow up to 50 to 60 rounds of 120 millimeters ammunition. Now, the more I study about this vehicle and the company that produces it, the more I am impressed. Patria Nemo truly is a global market leader in modern mortar systems with state-of-the-art properties. Patria provides aerospace and military consumers with a equipment availability, continuous performance development, as well as selective intelligence, surveillance and management systems to provide really good product support. They have refined the technology they have produced very heavily, specifically in this instance for the Mortar 2AT. They've dug down to every necessity that a Mortar platform needs, whether it's mobility, etc, etc, and put it into a platform that is multi-use, modular, and specifically designed to be a high-class automated mortar system. Patria does have several locations where they produce the weapon systems, uh, including things like Finland, Sweden, Norway, Belgium, Estonia, and Spain. They employ around 3,000 people and uh, is owned by the state of Finland at about 51.1%, uh, Norwegian Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace AS, 49%, uh, and Patria owns 50% of the Norwegian NAMO, and together with these three companies form a leading Nordic defense partnership. So as mentioned, the vehicle comes in a variety of options. It's very modular, but its basic premise is a turret with a remote controlled 120 millimeter mortar system that specifically is required for the needs of modern warfare, which is things like mobility, protection, and utmost accuracy. It's also given a direct fire capability. That's right, this thing can basically just turn it into a standardized infantry fighting vehicle almost with a fairly low velocity or low range 120 millimeter mortar round as a direct fire system. This is incredible, giving it indirect fire support and direct fire support to troops on the ground. It can obviously be used in its own self-defense, which is primarily what you're gonna be using that direct fire capability for. It does have also its own RWS or remote weapon system that can be placed on top as you just saw to protect it against infantry that are trying to do the sneaky beaky and getting around it. Some of the other key features about this vehicle is it's able to fire multiple round simultaneous impact or MRSI, which gives fire missions up to six rounds hitting a target simultaneously. With a 120 mm projectile, that is very impressive. The turret and armored chassis protect the crew against ballistics, mines and IED threats, and the battlefield contaminants within protection levels very high for NATO standards for sure. The light and compact turret is very easily installed on light or track vehicles, and primarily the 6x6 or 8x8 class of the AMVs. Ironically though, it can be put on ships as well with Navy vessels. There's been some interesting developments on the naval side for Nemo. Uh, a lot of countries are looking into having a mortar system like this on some of its uh, you know, coastal craft that can support ground troops on the ground, as well as deploy um, you know, drones, etc. But for the most part, this thing is actually giving some really good indirect capability on the coastline. It does feature a very modular design, therefore it guarantees maximum flexibility and capability for further upgrades and the diverse requirements to meet the specific needs of different countries and the environments they may be fighting in. 
not all vehicles are going to be utilized in a snowy environment or a very hot environment. So when something's modular like Patria uh, with the Nemo, it's given a huge flexibility to forces that may want to buy it. And that is a big, big selling factor. When you make something modular that isn't just standalone to one platform, it gives huge amounts of options for militaries that may want to save some money somewhere. Or maybe they want to go all out and get something that's truly um, either customizable set for their own military but can still be taken off and put on something else which is really really good for things like you know fleets that you may want to put into storage and only pull out at certain times and allocate these kind of mortar systems to the vehicles that you have in your fleet. There is a lightened version of this also with the twin barreled AMOS or advanced mortar system which is from the same manufacturer. Small numbers of the Nemo turret have already been produced by Slovenia and a new Patria AMV fleet for Saudi Arabia. They've also used them for their LAV-2 fleet and used by the United Arab Emirates for their coastal patrol craft. Patria has also developed a containerized version, as I mentioned, a shipping container, which can basically be dropped off, transported, and then fired from all completely remotely using just self-loading logistics trucks. This gives a static mortar position from where the crew can operate under a high degree of armor protection, but not only that, complete protection because you're nowhere near that platform. I really like this setup because it can be worked very easily into a logistics battalion that may have some support they want to pull in from rear echelon, they just want to have a couple of mortar carriers with them. Why not? Why not have something that you can deploy um, as a defensive you know, uh, barrier around your rear echelon, your supportive units? Uh, put four of these at the four apexes of your uh, supporting units and you could basically have indirect fire support for them 24-7 in the protection and warmth and coziness of uh, a platform like this. Now, I know that sounds a little silly, but trust me, if you're a mortar crew, uh, being stuck in a horrible fire pit as a mortar uh, is not a great time as a mortar pit gun crew. Um, I know a lot of people who have operated mortars. Um, I myself never have, uh, but it's a lot. It's a lot to be involved to dig into the mortars and, you know, build up your position with something like this that you can just have your own little self-contained uh, unit. It's really good. And of course, when you're done, you just pick it up and off you go again with very little trace of you even being there. Whereas a mortar pit, you've got to dig it, you've got to, you know, all that sort of stuff. For the most part, though, I think this is something that's very specific to a user needs. Uh, modern battlefields of today, I'm not sure how applicable this would be, but something more sort of a forward operating base that you want to set up in a, you know, open terrain where there's not much uh, risk of attack. That's kind of where you want to be. But when you want indirect fire, you want it to be accurate. You want it to be able to be putting rounds on target quickly and so that the forward observers have really good indirect fire capabilities from a system like this. Otherwise, all the fancy bells and whistles mean nothing. But the research that I have done, Patria's fire control systems enable sensor to shoot operations, which basically means all the information they're gathering on their end uh, as a forward observer can be linked very quickly to the information they have inside of the Patria Nemo and they share that information so they can get rounds on target very quickly. The forward observer system is used for identifying the target and for acquiring a full view of the situation of the battlefield. The fire control system provides the fire support plans to the fire missions which are transmitted via a tactical data network to the command and control systems directly to the vehicle unlike certain artillery systems that need to go to a fire control system tent or support unit and then missions passed on to the gun line. This is directly supporting the missions as necessary. What I find most fascinating about this vehicle though is the fire on the move capability. Literally having you have data inputted to the system and putting rounds on target as the vehicle is in motion. That to me is mind blowing and its accuracy as from what I can tell is very high even with a you know a vehicle moving across undulating terrain it can put rounds on target in indirect fire capability which is game changing. If we can create literally beyond shoot and scoot capability where the vehicle can move and fire and provide indirect fire support with a mortar configuration that is truly where you want to be. When we look at places like you know, South Korea, where they have a lot of mountainous terrains. This is perfect for what they want. Something that can get over the high terrain and mountains of, of the Korean mountains, things like that, that can move quickly on roads or even off-road to relocate as it's needed, but fire on the go because artillery on artillery engagements, when it comes to counter-battery artillery or counter-battery mortar strikes, you just don't have time. Shoot and scoot is one way of getting around it, but where you can shoot and move, this is game changing, folks. And I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of this technology in the future with bigger rounds, bigger projectiles, 
beyond the 120mm mortar configuration. Of course, in addition to just being used on mechanized fleet, is also very good at being used at fast moving naval fleets. There is a lightweight remote control system that has been proven to be put onto naval applications. They are really good for coastal vessels and they've been doing a lot of trials and testing of this. And there are numerous advantages associated with using the Patria Nemo for the naval platforms. Its lightweight structure takes up minimal space within the vessel, ensuring it does not compromise the characteristics of the platform. Despite its compact size, it boasts a high rate of fire and enables rapid response, allowing naval forces to quickly engage targets. The minimal crew required for its operation consisting for the boat or the vessel crew, one Nemo weapon officer and two loaders further enhances its efficiency for naval craft. Patria is actually delivering this mortar system to the Swedish Armed Forces for the first time as a subcontractor to the Swede Ship Marine AB. Amphibious units in Stockholm and Gothenburg will soon have eight vessels that can provide artillery support from the sea. So let's just be clear here and summarize what we've got going on here. We've got a highly modular and easily flexible system that can be mounted on a multitude of different platforms, including ships, something that can fire on the move, that is a 120 mm projectile that can be fired at rapid rates, is highly accurate and linking directly to forward observers with its own integrated command and control system with the fire control system, provides multi-round simultaneous impact up to six rounds, can be given an upgrade package of up to two tubes in the AMOS configuration, and finally can be put into a shipping container and put in its own standalone variant as a basically drop off and go platform. Folks, this is a game changer for mortar systems. I personally feel like probably one of the best that's out there. Of course, this is going to come at a price. A lot of people will say to me, well, yes, Matt, you know, things like the Patria um, are going to be great at what they do, but they're going to cost a lot of money. And yes, you're going to pay a price for this. This is certainly advanced technology, um, not exactly crazily new, but it's doing everything in one, I guess, jack of the trade able to do just about everything mortar system package and that's why I love this so much as it can do everything you want the mortar to do and more including direct fire capability um, you know that's a big big deal folks when we look at mortar systems out there that are already existing um, there are certain ones that are very simple very cheap put in the back of a Humvee uh, have very good fire control systems still have simultaneous impact etc etc uh, but they don't do everything right this system is giving you all sorts of options here, a lot of options uh, to provide good, quick, indirect fire capability, and if necessary, defensive fire also, which, you know, those trucks that have the drop down doors at the back of a Humvee and just a big base plate and you fire rounds and off you go, it's a good shoot and scoot capability, but you can't fire that on the move. You can't fire 120 millimeter round at someone who's come to bump your position, uh, and you're still exposed to the elements and to the infantry and everything else that could be engaging you right back at you. So. To me, folks, the Patria Nemo is certainly one of the best mortar systems out there today. Um, I would love to get my hands on playing with something like this, um, any kind of mortar system for that matter. I think it's really intriguing as an artillery gunner to learn and understand the modern capabilities of indirect fire of today. And I think Patria Nemo perfected or very close to perfecting uh, mortar capabilities, especially now they're able to put it on ships as well. I mean, that's incredible. Folks, let me know what you think of this platform. I would love to hear your input in the comment section below. Of course, go check out my description box for all my various links, including supporting on my Patreon and PayPal. I cannot thank you enough for doing so. Thank you for those who are supporting my channel financially. It really does help. I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. Hope you have a wonderful day. All the best, folks. Bye-bye.